Today's video is one I'm actually kind of surprised myself that I'm making and might surprise you, but we're going to be talking about a Chrome browser extension released by Microsoft recently that supposedly gives you the same protection in Chrome that you would get in Microsoft Edge browser with Windows Defender. Now, I know what you're thinking. Are you kidding me? Microsoft Edge? Windows Defender? What is this, some kind of joke? But don't write it off just yet because I even was surprised about how well Edge tested against other browsers in terms of protecting against malicious sites. And the benefit of this is that you're gonna get, be able to get that same protection without having to use Edge because I know it's kind of a meme, everyone likes to hate on Edge, but if you can get genuinely better protection for really no downside, I mean, you may as well pay attention. So as you would expect, you can find this extension in the Chrome Web Store, and it's called the Windows Defender Browser Protection. And when you install it, it's very simple. There's not much to the interface. You just click on the thing and you can basically just toggle on and off protection. Not really sure why you'd wanna turn it off. Maybe unless you went on a website that you know 100% is legit and for some reason it falsely flagged it, but other than that, you may as well just keep it on. But the big question is how well does this extension even work? And that's really gonna be the main part of this video. If you go to Microsoft's webpage talking about this extension, it boasts a 99% protection rate, which is a bold statement. But let's not just take their word for it. Why don't we go and dig a little bit deeper into the source of this test, which is done by a company called NSS Labs, and they did a test comparing Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. And with this, they did testing for phishing as well as so-called socially engineered malware, which is basically just malware that tricks you into downloading it. So it might be a fake download link that comes in email or something like that. Basically just generic malware that you're familiar with. Another test they did for these browsers is for so-called zero hour protection, which basically tests to see how long it takes each browser to detect and block brand new malicious websites from the time, literally the zero hour moment into a few days later. And this is actually an extremely important thing to test because as you'd expect, a lot of these malicious websites don't really last that long. They get added to these lists of blocked websites pretty quickly, which means that these malicious people are always making up these new websites so it's important to get them as quickly as possible because you know even if it takes seven days to be added to a block list, well by that time, they probably showed that malicious website to tons of people so it doesn't even matter. So now that we know what they're testing, let's take a look at the results. And first we're gonna look at the socially engineered malware tests and then afterwards we can look at the phishing tests. So overall, Edge had a 99.5% protection rate against malware. That's actually extremely su surprising to me. I had no idea it was that good. And then if we look at the comparison, Chrome was 87.5%, still really good in my opinion. A vast majority are gonna be detected. And then Firefox, not terrible, but obviously a lot lower than the other two at 70.1%. So again, I was surprised that you could actually get a lot better protection from Edge. I always kind of assumed the Chrome was the best. And if you're wondering, the different filtering technology that the browsers use, Microsoft Edge uses Smart Screen, which is gonna be the same thing that this browser extension uses, so you get the same protection. And then Google uses their Smart Browsing API. It's a little bit different. I'm not really sure what Firefox does. It wasn't mentioned in this report of the test they did, but those are just two what Edge and Chrome does. Now the previous test was for overall protection. Now we're gonna take a look at the zero hour protection test for malicious software. So the protection of each browser from zero hour, literally immediately into the seventh day. And if we look at these results here, I don't even think I have to guess your reaction. Me personally, I was shocked to look at how well Edge did. It absolutely destroyed the other browsers. I mean, it had 99.8% protection immediately all the way through 
the seven days. And maybe even more impressive when you compare it to the others, I mean, when you look at the Chrome result by itself, 74.7%, not bad, especially when you consider that's literally malicious software that potentially has never been seen before and it can still block it. And then Firefox, not that impressive on the first day, 53.8%. Although Chrome and Firefox did significantly increase over the next two days, but they still couldn't even get to where Edge was on the first day. Now, the final test for the malicious software was for consistency of protection. So obviously some URLs disappeared out of nowhere because the hackers took them down. And then they were also adding brand new URLs to obviously detect the zero hour protection as well. So if a browser was more quickly able to find these malicious sites and block them, then that would increase the momentary protection. And then if it was able to keep doing that, the protection would remain higher, therefore being more consistent. So let's take a look at those results. It'll make more sense when you look at them. Here you can see that Edge had a very high protection the entire time. I mean, very consistent, minimum 94.4% the whole time. Then Chrome also had consistent but lower protection in like the 80% most of the time. And then Firefox was even lower hovering in like the 60s and 70s most of the time. None of them did horrible, but again, surprisingly, Edge just demolished them all. All right, so again, those tests were all for the socially engineered malware. Now we can look at those same tests, except for phishing websites. Same deal, gonna compare Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. So for overall phishing protection, Edge actually, again, won out significantly, had 92.3% protection against phishing sites. And then you look at Chrome, not bad, not as good as Edge, at 74.5%, and then Firefox way down at 61.1%. Next, again, we can look at the zero hour protection this time for phishing. And you can see none of the browsers did as well as they did with the malware zero protection, but the results kind of speak for themselves. Edge had 81.8% right off the bat. Chrome had 58.6% and Firefox had 50.7%. Again, Edge absolutely wins. Though you'll notice that even though Firefox was the worst off right away, it actually ended up being second place after day one and significantly higher than Chrome after day two to beat it out the rest of the time. And you'll also notice that kind of funny, Edge was consistent the whole time, whereas it took an entire week for Firefox to get to where Edge was right off the bat. All right, now finally again, we're gonna look at the consistency this time for phishing, and it was the same as before. The URLs were added and removed over time, and you can see that Edge was consistently high almost the entire test, usually the highest, and Chrome was actually pretty high at first, then kind of dropped down to like the 60%, and Firefox, I mean, just sucks. Huge fluctuations down to almost no protection at all. I was extremely surprised there just by how bad the protection could get at certain points. I don't know if it just got unlucky. Maybe there was like a huge spike in malware that for some reason Firefox couldn't detect as well, but still the results are there. So yeah, I think those results do all speak for themselves. I was actually surprised. I was like, really, Edge is the best in terms of protection? I'm not saying it's the best browser overall, but you can't deny it. And no, I'm not saying switch over to Edge as your main browser, but look, they offer this same protection as an extension that's kind of awesome. I will be personally installing that and using it every day in Chrome and I don't see a reason why I shouldn't recommend it to everyone else, assuming Edge stays this good at this protection and they're using the same smart screen technology that they have in the regular browser. So you guys can let me know what you think. I don't know, maybe there's some holdouts who are like so anti-Edge that you're like, I'm never gonna install it anyway. Or maybe there are some of you that use Edge exclusively, you can let us know your experience if it protects it pretty well in your opinion. But in any case, if you guys wanna keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on those, and if you wanna subscribe and make a few videos every week, should be worth it. And also don't forget to enable notifications by clicking the bell next to the subscribe button, even though YouTube still might not even show you the videos even if you do that, because it sucks. But in any case, I hope to see you guys again. So thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.